hello. I wanted to tell you. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Hello. I always wanted to do that. Try him out. Don't stop at all. Oh, great. Hello. I wanted to quickly tell you about a new campaign that I'm supporting called Take 90. It's amazing and it's so important. The aim of the Take 90 campaign is to get us, you, me, all of the nation, thinking more before we react. Before we react. Did you know? When something happens that triggers off anger in you, that feeling you feel is just a bunch of neurotransmitters in your brain being triggered by something. So when something happens or something is said to you and you start getting angry, that's just the angry cells in your brain triggering and going, ah, ah, look what they've done. We have the power to not react. We have the power to not get angry. Have you noticed that some people have a worse temper than others? Anger disappears after 90 seconds. <laughs> Gone. So this is anger. Hi, I'm anger. Hi, I'm anger. 80, 81, blah, 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 90. <laughs> Gone dissolved, doesn't exist anymore. It takes 90 seconds for your anger to leave and just flush out. That's actually scientifically proven. So, if something happens, for instance, who goes to Waterloo in the morning? I don't personally get on there, but I pass there. Oh, the queues, there are queues to get on the train, like queues at the door. I hear people talking about the drama associated with these queues. When you're in that queue, you're second to get on the tube, there's like two spaces left, you're about to get on, you're just gonna make it in time, you were almost gonna be late, but you ain't. And then someone from afar sees the doors open and just runs and gets on before you and you're just at the door like... The door like... But then, the doors open and you get on. What are you gonna do? It's so easy to just be angry at the rudeness and retaliate. But also, it's quite easy to be passive aggressive, not that I do it. I have been partial to a tense up on a tube, and I'm tense. I am tensing up, and it's not because I've got anxiety, it's not that kind of tense. I'm not moving. You wanna try and barge all around me now and wiggle past? I'm not moving. Nope. And I might even stand like this, so that my oh, elbows are tense and no one can get past me. That's anger. If you had just 90 seconds to just calm down, so what? So what that they did that? That's a fault in their character. And they might have been later than you and just didn't think. You never know. If you were to just calm down and not think about how you're feeling, that anger will go. It will just disappear. And I know some of you are probably picturing these big scenarios where, I don't know, some people go through big angry scenarios, but the petty things, the small things, the things that you might not be right about, don't always react. Take a 90, not only does it calm you down and remove anger, which horrible thoughts and horrible feelings lead to horrible actions, you save yourself a lot of stress. Like having a conversation with one of your friends and your friend says something that you don't really like or it feels like a personal attack on you. Instead of just saying something back that makes the whole thing just blow out of proportion, creating loads of things that you gotta apologize about, why not just take 90? Breathe through your nose and out your mouth. Do you know what? I know I'm going off subject, but you know what I'm like. I always hold my breath. Whether I'm doing something I've never done before, but when I first learned how to edit, I used to hold my breath and I only realized because I'd stop editing and be like, why was I just holding my breath? Knowing how important it is to breathe, like all through your belly, hold it for a bit and then out for your mouth. You're getting oxygen to your brain. Oh, that made me a little bit dizzy. I'm actually getting euphoric from breathing, because I hold my breath so much. It's not even a joke. It just causes so much tension. If you were to just take a minute and just breathe, if you, if you think about it, when you're anxious, you're angry or upset, your breathing's fast. When I'm like feeling under pressure or feeling a bit anxious or whatever, I notice I'm breathing like <laughs> like really short, short breaths. Like <laughs> when you're calm, just pause, breathe. <sighs> If you find that you are not calming down, all that's going through your mind is the rage, and when that happens, you don't want... Are they disrespecting me? Are they taking me for an idiot? Don't ask questions, just calm down, you don't have to react. I know about those questions. My friends call me overthinking Omar. They don't actually. I can think for like 63 million nations. The tangents are wild today. If you still can't calm down, just put some music on, put on like some soaking music. I actually use an app called Calm, 
Calm actually are supporting Take 92. They are sick. It's just an absolutely amazing meditation app. It's great for just needing to calm down. I'm so frantic, it's hard for me to be calm, let alone focus on the now and just focus on your breathing. Living in the moment, not worrying about what's coming and not worrying about what's past and not worrying about what other people think. Just being. That's my heartbeat. Okay, that's my breath. Okay, my breath stinks. Now I know it can seem a little bit far-fetched if you're like, hold on, how can I just zone out and meditate and breathe and that's just not me. Meditation might not be something that you're comfortable with or even just like the sound of because of misconceptions. I'm not saying that all your opinions are misconceptions. They, not only do they have stories, when people used to say, oh, just meditate, I used to picture like, mm. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that type. I'm sure it works for some people, but personally, I wouldn't like that noise. Medit Meditation is just, this is how I see it, ignoring everything around you and outside you and things you can't control and just focusing on you or focusing on what you're doing, which could be breathing. <sighs> or if you want to hum, focus on your humming. Whatever it is you do when you meditate, zone out. Calm is absolutely sick, by the way. Not only do they have stories that can, like bedtime stories, the jungle noises to get you to sleep. They have my favorite thing in the world, which is, is, this isn't what they're limited to, I'm just telling you my favorites, which is the sound of rain. They actually have meditation sessions, which are for things like focus, anxiety, they're just sick. Anyway, if you find yourself in one of those weird situations, the ones that are the most awkward are the ones with strangers, but also, people close to you. For this Take 90 campaign, they have a meditation which is 90 seconds long and it's especially for getting you from crazy angry to crazy calm. What I wanted to encourage you a lot to do as part of this um, Take 90 campaign is one, tell everyone you know this amazing news that anger only has a shelf life of 90 seconds. <laughs> Bye. You see how uh, it becomes water and then water becomes gas, Pfft, gone. That's what happens to anger in 90 seconds. <laughs> if you don't feed it, it's very unwise to feed angry brain, angry questions. Next time someone says something to offend you or someone does something that you feel is really inconsiderate or they try and embarrass you or imagine you're at your work drinks, new job. These people don't really know you like that, that, that. Someone says something or does something small and you just react. Do you really wanna say something or do something that you're later gonna regret in court? The court of work, the we don't say good morning to you anymore room. You gotta be there for eight hours, you don't want that. Pause, stop and think and just breathe. Just chill, just relax, get calm.